Analysis of the book The Essential 55 by Ron Clark. The book The Essential 55 by Ron Clark is a list of rules or guidelines that the author has compiled and used effectively in his classroom. The book is designed to guide educators in creating a learning environment that can help children become successful students. There are some deficits in the book, such as some of the advice is dated due to technological advances and some of the examples seem a bit simplistic. However, the majority of the advice and rules are timeless and have broad application from preschool to boardroom. Most of the rules that I found helpful fall under three broad categories, respect, control of chaos, and exacting maximum effort. All of these rules and advice are applicable to the teacher as well as the student. Clark's rules that fall under respect codify expected and respectful behavior of the student to fellow students, others that are outside of the classroom, such as volunteers or those met on field trips, as well as respect for self and the student's own work. The rules also provide the teacher opportunity to gain respect by fairly enforcing the rules and having rules that have comprehen comprehensible reasons and natural and or expected consequences that will follow if there is an infraction. As group size increases, potential chaotic events increase exponentially, though it is impossible to prevent all such events, the teacher can try to minimize their occurrences and impact. These rules are great group management strategies in and out of the classroom. Under the rules, the students strictly regulate their actions so that things can occur efficiently with as little disruption and wasted time and energy as possible. Clark's rules also emphasize planning and communication of expectations to all those involved in the education process of the class. The rest of the rules try to exact maximum effort and are equally applicable to the teacher as to the students. High standards are codified and understood to be the expected, not the exception. When these expectations are met, Swift and relevant rewards should be received, just as discipline should be if there are infractions. Clark's rules encourage all participants to not only do their best work, but to do it with a positive attitude. This helps them to be the best they can be in the classroom and as members of society. If the group is efficient, respectful, and full of zest for life and learning, the limit of what can be accomplished would be hard to reach. In fact, now that I'm going to incorporate these lives into my life, my life will be full of respect, hard work, and order. Oh no! What's happening? Help!